John Busby with a Culture Buzz, and we have a great thing coming up that I tell you, if you're looking for a wonderful panacea to help us get through this whole COVID experience, I just leave it to the creatives, the visual arts creatives in our community, and they come up with some great stuff. Amanda Tate is one of the artists participating in Des Moines Art Week, and we're going to take a few minutes here just to visit with Amanda and talk about what she is going to be doing for us. I am looking forward to your creative mischief, Amanda. Uh, it's great to have you back on the Culture Buzz, but um, you're doing something very special. Let's talk about location and what it is you're doing, okay? Sure. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here again. Um, I have an installation coming up at OL Guild, which is affiliated with Olson Larson Gallery in West Des Moines. It's one block um, from their, their gallery space, and it's kind of an auxiliary space that used to be a former gas station uh, turned art installation space. So I am installing there some of my artworks that I've created using Manibus which is my motion-controlled robot that translates dance into abstract paintings. So I'm going to be doing an installation of those works in that space, and you don't even have to go in to see it. You can just drive <laughs> by or stop and go on up to the window. God, this is some of, the most, some of the most creative window peeking I have ever been involved with. I can't wait to do this. I And, you know, I've driven past that... Um, that former filling station many times at uh, what would be 4th and Walnut or something like that. It I is one so. 201 4th Street. Yep, yeah. one block one block east of the Olson Larson uh, intersection. Um, and you will find it there. It's going to be listed, uh, and all the information is going to be on my website, but also my newsletter if you folks get my newsletter. If not, send me a quick email. Go through uh, KFMG. They can get information to me, and I'll make sure you get the information because we're just doing these kind of guerrilla interviews right now so I can get several of the artists that are going to be participating in Des Moines Art Week involved in this. Um, Amanda, this is great because um, you have been doing things on a, a much grander scale in many ways, too, because, uh, well, let's talk about uh, one of the, the great participatory, uh, if, uh, you know, art events, happenings uh, that you were involved with. Uh, I was just fascinated by this, uh, the Untitled. <laughs> yes, fortune cook Untitled Fortune Cookie Corner. Um, yes, I was invited to be part of this uh, global exhibition, uh, the largest scale ever exhibition of a Felix Gonzalez Taurus work. Um, and this is a work that can manifest in multiple locations at once. So it makes it, um, it makes it really unique in this way. And so each of the hosts or sites invited um, was able to kind of dictate how the presentation would occur at their location. And I definitely wanted to share it with others. Um, I feel like it's been a really great way for me to feel connected with others during kind of this, you know, social distancing and isolation time. And so my, it's a, for, it's a pile of fortune cookies and it is for the taking. Um, people can help themselves to the cookies, but it is kind of in the spirit of Art Week's um, Emerald City, where people are decorating their yards. It's in my front yard, sidewalk side, in a red um, sidewalk dispenser kiosk. I call it kind of a cookie kiosk because it's one of those, like, take one free kind of pamphlet dispenser boxes. Yes. And, yeah, you're welcome to walk on down the sidewalk and help yourself to a fortune cookie. And so it's been really great for me to kind of see people from a distance. It has a little camera in there, and it allows me to document people's interaction and reaction in the moment that they um, – physically engage with the work of art, which has been really fun to kind of get to share in other people's moments of joy and interaction. Um, and yeah, so that's also in West Des Moines. And it's I know. Ashworth I, and 17th. Look for the big red box. <laughs> I, when I was driving down Ashworth, it just quickly caught the corner of my eye. And now I know well, I better pull off in oh, 17th Street, and I'm just going to have to check that out, too. Folks, Amanda yeah. Tate is my uh, visual artist guest right now, and she is a, a very willing and uh, contributory uh, participant in Des Moines Art Week, uh, which will be starting soon. Um, go to uh, the website, I believe, if you go to um, 
uh, what is Rachel's uh, website? Uh, Art Beacon Art will tell Beacon. you for sure. Yes. But I think there's also Art Week DSM. On I Facebook. I will get information as well. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, check all this stuff out. One thing I have to admire that you and so many of my creative friends have been doing is after we all kind of overcame the stun of what the pandemic did to us as far as the isolation and and just being safe for the sake of others as well as ourselves, uh, the creativity started coming out in unique and different ways. And I think this year's Des Moines Art Week is going to prove that. And Amanda Tate is one of those leading artists in this movement, folks. So make sure you check out all the links and information. Kind of put together your little strategy for uh, experiencing Des Moines Art Week. And uh, be sure to uh, stop by Amanda's special place at 17th and Ashworth. Uh, it's going to be worth yeah. that stop there. Get a fortune cookie. I mean, everybody needs a little a little bit of cheer right now in exactly. one way or another. And, yeah. Wonderful. And stop by at OL Guild and see my space there. And I, there are so many exciting things happening for Art Week. I really can't wait to see yeah, the new creative iterations that happen. Get involved, folks. Amanda, thank you so much for your time. As always, it's a delight to visit with you. Likewise. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.